it's no secret that there have been a ton of changes at Warner Brothers Discovery under the leadership of new CEO David Zaslav, specifically in regards to HBO Max and a lot of the content that was, or at least was supposed to go on that streaming platform. The biggest one being Batgirl, which was canceled, along with a bunch of other properties. Well, now some people who are part of these layoffs, who are part of the mass firings at HBO Max are speaking out. They are salty. They are furious about this. Not because they think that the level of entertainment will go down or that so many fans will be upset because they can't see what they wanted to see. No, they're mad because they feel like too many black and brown people got fired. I'm not even making this up. They don't care about the quality of the content. All they care about is that it's diverse enough. Laid off HBO Max execs reveal Warner Brothers Discovery is killing off diversity and courting middle America. They just don't care. Warner Brothers Discovery has axed about 13 non-white executives as it tries to climb out of debt. It will likely affect the shows and the movies that are made. 13 people of color, 13 executives of color have been eliminated. How many do you think got fired overall? 70. So out of the 70, they don't care about the other 57 people. All they care about, all this article cares about are the 13 non-white people that were laid off from HBO Max. This is an absolute fucking joke. It is just one more indication. These people don't actually care about entertainment. So it's probably a good thing that these people ended up getting fired. And Bounty Into Comics covers it here. Now former HBO Max execs claim David Zaslav plans to move Warner Brothers Discovery away from producing divisive left-wing content. There was just a massive, we don't need you, you're not offering the things we're focused on. These executives claimed CEO David Zaslav's recent cancellation of various Warner Brothers Discovery projects was done in service of moving the company away from divisive left-wing content in favor of entertaining the average viewer, heaven forbid. The insight into Zaslav's alleged plans were provided by the XBO, XHBO Max executives, all of whom had their positions eliminated and they're talking under the condition of anonymity. Speaking of the recent scrapping of projects like J.J. Abrams-led Batman Cape Crusader, family sitcom Gordita Chronicles, and most notably Batgirl, the former team members explained that rather than loss of the works themselves or the fact that fans may not to get to see something they'd been excited for, their main grievance was with the fact that the jobs of a number of non-white executives had fallen victim. I don't think anyone knows just how white the staff is, said one recently let go executive, while another separately speculated that these cuts, quote, maybe one black woman on the HBO side, maybe. Zaslav's cuts have amplified the lack of diversity at HBO. HBO is the most homogenous part of this umbrella. Instead of trying to figure out how to integrate some of the max executives into HBO, they just made this sweeping cut of three divisions, kids, family, and international. A lot of black and brown people lost their jobs. Keep in mind why all this is happening. This is happening because Warner Brothers has failed for the past several years. Rumor has that they're about $50 billion in the hole and they're trying to make a plan to make up for that. They had to move release dates for things like Aquaman 2 and Shazam because according to them, they couldn't afford to release them. They couldn't afford to do the marketing, to pay the marketing teams in order to promote these movies. That's how bad it is. But instead of worrying about maybe why they got in this position, why all the content they put out has been garbage, why all of this diverse entertainment has nobody watching, instead, all they're concerned about are the skin color of all the people that lost their jobs here. We're only worried about the 13 non-white people that lost their jobs, not the 57 other white people who were laid off. This is a joke. This is why these people, when, when you find people like this in the entertainment industry, they will destroy your company. The people who only care about this, they will absolutely destroy anything you're trying to build and they will instead only try to tell stories that are based on their gender, based on their race, based on their sexuality, and are only targeted at a far left-wing audience that doesn't support it. As to why these cuts are being made, as per the Daily Beast's own recollection of their conversations, the former Warner employees believe these changes are just as much about business as they are about reshaping the ideological perception of Warner properties. It all points to the same end, a rejection of left-wing or highly diverse content in favor of a more homogenous, middle America-friendly fare. The lack of diversity in content staff might just make that goal easier. So they say 
that they're intentionally firing all of their diverse employees. They're intentionally firing these people because they want to appeal to everybody. Wow, crazy how that works, isn't it? Now, I firmly believe that anybody that's at HBO Max, anybody at Warner Brothers, anybody whose full intention is actually to entertain people, actually to entertain an audience, give fans what they want, those people should not lose their job. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes companies get overbloated. Sometimes cuts need to be made and these things do occur. But for all the people out there who are only upset because their woke garbage that wasn't going to be watched by anybody is no longer going to be on HBO Max, I have absolutely no sympathy at all for those people. They are the reason this company is in this position. They are the reason that the entertainment industry is in this position. And now they're salty about it. Now they're crying that they want to make content that appeals to everybody, not just far left-wing activists. Can't say you're going to get a lot of sympathy from many people over that. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.